Hello and welcome to Aviation 101 with Laura. I am here going to show you my cool shirt, Aviation 101 with Laura. This is new stuff coming out. The shirt's unique to me, but you can get your own channel merch if you check out my store. Link will be in the description of the video. Today I want to talk about Engineered Materials Arresting System, or EMAS, which you might have seen it on Airport Diagram. You might have seen it on a runway description. Not really know what it is. Well, the EMAS system is one that my students were very curious about because just a few weeks ago at Roanoke Airport, there was a Commute Air ERJ-145 that went off the end of the runway on landing. But you can see here a really good picture of what an engineered materials arresting system is designed to do. And that is stop an airplane that goes into this area, but prevents further damage to the main part of the aircraft if it were to, for example, go on a road, go across, down a hill, go down an embankment, go into the water. This is also an excellent close-up picture of what happened to the landing gear in this specific um, incident, accident, where this uh, commute air flight went off the end of the runway at Roanoke. You can see how the landing gear has really dug in to, uh, let's zoom in, you can see the landing gear has dug into the engineered materials arresting system. So the name EMAS really encompasses what's going on with this. It is an engineered type of pavement that is made to stop or arrest the aircraft that goes in the area. And the idea is, again, keep it from having bad things happen as it goes off the end of a runway. History. I looked into some history because my students were asking. So this is actually what prompted it. This is SAS Flight 901. Uh, happened at JFK Airport in February of 1984. Nobody was killed, but passengers were injured, and clearly the airplane was severely damaged. Um, it was a very long touchdown on runway 4 right, and this really is what prompted the FAA to begin looking into this between the FAA and the Air Force between, for almost 10 years, 84, 1993, the FAA actually conducted full-scale tests with a Boeing 727. I think that would have been fantastic to see. Uh, even in 1993, full scale, like rolling a 737 on their engineered material, the prototype, and seeing what happened. And it worked quite well. It worked so well that they installed a prototype in same air, same exact runway that where this happened, <laughs> runway four right at JFK in 1996. So uh, these systems have been deployed, and I want to talk a little bit about the actual systems because my students actually asked me about this. So there's two there's two systems from a company called Runway Safe. This seems to be the the main company that I found. They have the EMAS Max system, and we'll take a look at that here in a second with the different layers. Um, but essentially, what is going on with this is it is a cellular cement material. They will customize it to your specific runway, your specific aircraft that you expect to be landing on that runway. And it currently is installed at over 120 airports worldwide. The FAA has approved this and there's you can choose like three different strengths. So, you know, for example, if your runway doesn't need large aircraft landing on it, doesn't usually have it, is not long enough anyway, they might choose a different strength to stop smaller aircraft. But this is what is going on with the layers here. We have a top cover with the foam sheet. There are seals to keep water out, and they are actually square modular pieces that are put together into the EMAS system. Um, and then you have that crushable cellular cement. And actually, if we go back to the picture where we see what has gone on with this commute air flight, we can see that layer, and then we can see where the aircraft has dug into the cellular cement area. You can also see on this picture uh, how there are squares, and these are the little squares that I was showing you. This is a modular system. So the advantage of this, like at Roanoke Airport where this happened, a lot of this EMAS arresting area is still fine. Uh, most of it is, is fine, but they can actually come in with a forklift and replace just parts of the system 
that did not get damaged in the uh, incident with this aircraft going in the area. So that's EMAS Max. That one's the one that's in most uses. Uh, they have also come out with a newer system called Green EMAS. This is made of 100% recycled foam glass. Cool. I, I love this because it's like, you know, we, we hear all about recycling. Recycling is great and all that. But like, what are we going to do with the recycled things? Well, here's an awesome use that humans have come up with to do with recycled foam glass. Put, put it to work stopping airplanes that went off the end of the runway. And, and who would have thought? I love humans and our ingenuity. So if you maintain these properly, EMAS, the company Runway Safe, says it should last like 20 or more years. Um, this is the glass one where, again, there's a top coat. Um, and then you have a, I don't actually know what CLSM stands for. So if you work for Runway Safety, reach out. Uh, but then we have foam glass and then we have the actual pavement. Uh, this, these are both designed where snow removal equipment can drive on them. It's not going to collapse immediately. It is actually set up to even accommodate occasional aircraft without deformation. But the idea is it is supposed to stop an out of control aircraft. They claim that they have stopped everything from a small Cessna. Now, I don't know if we're talking about a 150. There was not super details that I could find, but maybe it was more like a Cessna 421 or a Caravan up to a Boeing 747 and it stops everything in between. So like I said, it's cool because they just have to replace the broken parts. What does this look like? So I, I pulled up a Jeppesen chart for Chicago Midway, which seems to be an airport that really loves its EMAS systems. And, you know, it kind of makes sense. Why? Because we have roads near it, which is kind of a congested urban area around the airport. But you can see there at the end of runway four right, and at the end of 3-1 Center, we have EMAS areas. And then if we look at the north part of the airport, we also have 1-3 Center and 2-2 two two Left. Both have EMAS areas. And the idea is, yeah, stop the airplanes. So how much does this cost? That was the other question for my students. Um, I don't have super details, but this I found recently in a article from the UK, basically Guernsey Airport in the UK was looking at making this system, the Runway Safe brand again. They're talking about roughly 10 million pounds and you know that's a lot of money but however they could in fact accommodate larger aircraft with this system rather than just lengthening the runway. Lengthening the runway is good for runway overrun prevention, but if your airport is space limited, like Midway, or you're money limited because paving a whole much longer runway costs money, if you're limited in these areas, maybe it's better to pay less but get the EMAS system so that you can still accommodate bigger airplanes with that overrun area, but still have safety, um, still have that runway in the current length. So it's an interesting concept. Anyway, here is a map I found off FAA.gov. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested. It's actually an interactive map. And you can look at where these are installed. And you can also look at where there's actually been incidents. Um, my students were like, what's up with Florida? And I said, I have no idea. Why are there so many incidents in Florida? No idea. But uh, maybe more rain and landing with hydroplaning? Not sure. But EMAS is a very fascinating system. I love how it has stopped airplanes with human ingenuity while having some cost savings and preserving lives, improving safety with a system that is designed to break but slow down an aircraft very, very rapidly. So thanks for watching Aviation 101 with Laura. Make sure you like, subscribe, check out my new merch on my website with the store. Have a fantastic day.